Wow, busy day today. Um, sorry this video is gonna be on so late. I'll try to make it under four to five minutes so it can get on fast and it won't take like two hours to upload like the last one. But anyways, I was so late because I was busy all day and I was asked to jailbreak three more iPod touches today. So, um, fifth or my fourth iPod jailbreak this week. Anyways, I'm going to show you a short tutorial today on how to make a cool Mac versus PC background in Photoshop right here. First, you're going to want to make a new file. I'll just put Mac versus PC. You're going to make it 1280 pixels by 720, so it's high def and it fits the size of my desktop at least. Then you're going to, gonna, uh, going to want to hit OK. So now you're going to want to make a new layer right there and you're gonna wanna place a file gonna wanna go you're gonna wanna get two files one of an Apple logo of whatever color and one of a Windows logo so in this case first I'm just gonna put the Windows logo and scale it to a good size and just place it right there I'll, I'll fiddle around with it later but you're going to make it the Windows logo on the left, then place the other file, which is the Apple logo. Make this about the same size, a um, little bit bigger. And yeah, it's about the same size. So then we're going to want to... Mm, that's good. Then you're going to want to place that. It's gonna, Okay, so there is that part. You see I have two layers, and that's that. Now you're going to want to make a text box. I like a good, big, bold font. In this case, before I use Baskerville, where is it? Here we go. It's a nice, like, big, nice font. So then we're going to want to make this bold I'm gonna make it 75 right now. Let's make it like 115. And you're, oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's say 135. Okay, so there's that part of it. I'm just gonna put these logos in a little bit different spots. Okay, let me do a little something with this title. Make it a little bit, say 145. So, sorry, I'm just like doing this in my head here. Okay, so now that you have your two logos and your verses, and by the way, you can put these logos in whatever order you want. I just prefer them in this order. I'm not a, I'm not saying I like Windows better, because I don't. But um, so, anyways, I'll stop rambling on. And you're going to want to make, you can put whatever caption you want down here, but I just thought of this as a cool one. You're going to make this, I did Apple Chancery, it looked pretty good. Then I think I did 75 probably. And then I just put, is it even a battle? Question mark. And made this about 100 I guess. No, 75 is good. Sorry I keep thinking in my head. But anyways, then I made this, since I didn't want it to match the gray color, or the black color, I made it a dark gray color, right about somewhere around here. And centered it. And just played around with these logos again. You can make it real precise, but I just did a... No, that looks bad. Put this in the middle here. Apple... Uh, let me put this back up here and move this Apple logo a little bit up. Okay, so there's your background. Um, also, if you want to, let me make a new layer here. Or just use the background. Also, I didn't on the original one that I tested this out with, but I guess if you want to, you could put a gradient in the background. Um, well, I'd have to select that out and do that so it doesn't look so bad. But, um, I didn't choose to do a gradient, but if you want to, you can do a gradient. Um, 
And that's about how to create a Mac versus PC wallpaper in Photoshop CS4. Hope you enjoyed. Visit my website, www.videomaker.tk. Follow me on Twitter and comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.